Hello everyone. Welcome to Carolina Girl Reads. Teresa. Hey guys, I'm back. I want to tell you something. I just want to say up front, my faithful viewers and my buddies and friends, thank you for your prayers. I am I'm 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 me today. <laughs> Y'all ready for me? But yes, the new medication they gave me has tremendously helped my coughing, my throat. Of course, I give all him the glory. But um I totally feel so much better. So much better. So thank you all. Thank you all. Because prayer does work, people. I don't have to tell somebody all that. I don't have to tell you. No. <laughs> so I'm back today. And I'm excited about wanting to share something with you. Um, first of all, welcome everybody. Friends. Buddies. All of y'all special. Newbies. Welcome. And if you are a first-timer... Just stopping on my channel here. Well, you're in for a trip. <laughs> no, but I, I do thank you for viewing me. I hope you'll come back. I may have some videos you really like. Hopefully, I can might show you some ticks or tri tricks or trips. Tricks or tips. Okay. And if you like it, give me a maybe share. Subscribe even. I really appreciate it. And plus, I'll just add that I simply have a monthly giveaway. And uh, the rules are in every description. They're my tutorials. <clears throat> so today, I'm going to be making a wreath. One of my new subscribers, Miss Carol. Carol, hey honey, if you're watching. She asked me about making a coffee wreath. Well, who I, I love my coffee too. But I'm going to make one similar to coffee today. I don't really have co coffee, but I got coffee cups. And I got, well, I'll show you in a little bit. But I'm going to make this for her since she asked. And... So, I hope it turns out pretty. It's, it's going to be a fall one. And, again, I'm going to be using the Cruffle method, which is my favorite, just about. And, with just one curl. Okay? So, let me tell you what we need to get started. Here we go. First of all, y'all know me, and any new ones, I do use the 14-inch dollar tree frames. You can't go wrong. I'm telling you, they, they just... They're good as if you've never, if you've always wondered about them, you've never bought one from there. They're good. You just got to make them, okay? And this one's ready for my cruffle method. She's got 18 pipe cleaners, and I have a tutorial on how to place them. If you'd like to look into that, it's really simple, though, okay? So if you'd like to check into that, I do have that. Pipe cleaners for cruffle method. And uh, if I do tend to Squeak a little there, cough. I'm sorry. I have a little bit still left, but I'm so glad that I'm a lot better. So, thank you all. And then I chose the mesh today for a fall color to it. It's this pretty kind of cream with a little touch of the gold in it. Um, deco mesh, craft outlet. And let's see. It's 10-inch mesh, and you're going to need... Um, 18 pieces cut at 25 inches okay and then for my um, curls I just simply chose some pretty orange a little beige jute here with some maybe a little turquoise or something kind of blue these three together because they match my cups okay and then for the ribbon I'll just show you I chose these pretty ones here now I've used this before I love it and the sparkling kind of I love them two together. Okay, so you'll need 18 pair of ribbons. And I chose these here. I think they would be a good combination on my on what I'm making today. And I was shocked. I asked my husband, sometimes I get his opinion, but ladies, sometimes I don't know about you, but sometimes I, I wish I'd never ask him but <laughs> because mine tells you the truth <laughs> and it hurts sometimes. <laughs> But anyway, I asked him about, I don't know, this, honey, what you think about this? And he said, I like that. I said, you do? So when he says something like that, it must look good because coming from him. Anyway, so here's the three little signs I'm using today. And I've already got them prepared, but save a little time. But here we go, Carol. Here's a little cup of fall sweet coffee for you. This has got a little creamer, I think, in it. That's the way I like mine. Well, let's just say I like a little coffee in my cream or else. <laughs> and then here's another little, it's a fall 
little cup of latte, we can call it that. And how about pumpkin spice, everybody? Y'all like pumpkin spice? I love it. And I'm not a big Starbucks, Starbucks person. My daughter worked there years ago, and she would always bring me home one of those apple caramel spice. Now, that's, that's good. That's some good stuff. Okay. So, that's all we're using today, okay, for a race. And, of course, your essentials all you need. You know what they are, guys. Your glue gun, pipe cleaners, scissors, rotary cutter. Okay, so, we're going to get started. It's good to see y'all. And I do want to share one thing. I talked to a buddy last night. Um, she knows who she is, but shame on me. I was complaining about being sick and all, but bless her heart, this is uh, one of my subscribers, and, and she, which I call friend. Um, she's had some surgery, so just like to ask prayer for her, guys, for all y'all that are faithful and, and believe in that. Say a prayer for her. She knows who she is. God knows who she is, and prayer does work. Maybe not like we want it to sometimes, but he knows best. Okay. All right. Let's get started. Okay. So I've already got my, um, ready for the curl, cruffles. And I'm just going to do a couple here because I think a lot of you guys know. And, and, you know, I know you probably get tired of watching cruffles and ruffles and, and whatever other kinds of, <laughs> but you know what, guys, I like to watch other people too. And it's just, you know, interesting sometimes and just, it is relaxing. If you're just, and especially in the winter time, I used to love to watch a bunch of videos and stuff and also, but I try to make things a little different for you all. And I do try to throw in a little bit of humor. I know, well, actually, that's just how I am. I don't really try. It just comes. I don't know. Y'all that's been with me from day one and, and know me and watched me, you know what I'm talking about. So anyway... Okay, so for your cruffle, like I say, 25 inches long, curl side up, and you're going to need 18 pieces. So we're just going to take it and roll our ends about two or three times and get my little, where's my little chip clip? There we go. My tater chip clip. And same side, turn it around. Okay, now you don't want to clip it, anybody new for the first time. You just want to simply take your fingers and thumbs here in the middle and scrunch it up. Like you're scrunching and pulling it towards you. And it makes that cruffle. There's your cruffle. And there's your ruffle. Let's get my hands going here. Okay. I'm just going to place her in where you want. I'm going to work on each section on this one this time. You choose how you want to. I just, um, I don't know. I like to switch things up once in a while. Okay, give it a couple twists. Okay. And this time I'm using the same color on my cruffles. I usually switch them up. But I thought I'd just stay with the one color this time. And And guys, I actually thank you all, the ones that wish me happy birthday wishes on my last tutorial with my skeleton wreath. If you, if you saw, well, you know who you are, but thank you so much. My birthday's actually Thursday, the 14th, um, but I'll take those wishes early. Hey, thank you, because everyone have made me smile. It did, and, and I thank God for each day I wake up. Now, I didn't realize that I'd ever lived as long as I have, but I just thank him for it. And the only thing that's coming along more with it, though, is, you know, is the old aches and pains and all. But but I'm still thankful, and I thank you all. And I just wish that I don't really ask for nothing for my birthday much anymore. My kids, they that's right there enough to me, my husband, my family, my, my friends, people like you all. That's that's the stuff that, that means a lot to me, and... And, um, you know, I, some of my greatest gifts are just having people, like, in my life that, you know, love me and care about me. And y'all know what I'm talking about. Y'all got it. But thank you again for my wishes. And, but now I have got a big present in there waiting on me from my husband. And I, I don't, I know what it is. <laughs> 
<laughs> you ladies like that? I mean, actually, I kind of picked it out, but, and y'all gonna be surprised. I may tell you about it, I may not, but, because you're gonna think, this girl is crazy. But, nah, I just, but I might just tell you Thursday, or next time I, if I do one on my birthday, but, anyhow, I just want to thank you all for the wishes. I mean that. I really do. Okay, so here's doing three, okay, in, the one, in my one section here. Because in each section for the cruffle method, you'll have three pipe cleaners. Two on the outer two rings, and then one on the inner two rings. So if you really need to watch my tutorial on it, so you can get it good, I have one on it, okay? So there's my three cruffles on one section, okay? So to make this go a little faster for you guys, I'm, I'm learning a little more, everyone. I think I'm gonna go ahead and throw all my curls while I'm here, some on these three. So we're kinda getting the bird with three stones or something like that, so to speak, okay. So I just chose my different curls and I'm just gonna place them. Everybody knows the curl. And I'm just doing one today on each thing. So put that one in. Just, just start where you want. Make your curl. Times and I always go to the bottom of mine. It does help a lot. I, I like mine to stand up some. Okay, then go on to this. Next one. I hope everybody's having a lovely day. The weather here is already kind of getting, well, they're still saying next week we're going to get back in the 90s a few, but that's okay. I think the cooler weather is going to finally come, and so it's worth, it's worth waiting for. And so I hope where you guys are, it's, it's working, the weather's going your way. How's that? going your way. Okay, so here's the curls. See how much, well, let me get this enough air. You gotta stand up there too. And you see any strays, you just, you just wanna cut them off. I'm a little jittery, guys, if you see me shake, though. Some of that medicine made me uh, I mean, I thank God for medicine, but sometimes it makes you, what's so funny, guys, you know, and y'all know what I'm talking about sometimes, <laughs> you know, like medicines and all, like, and I know y'all, if you get something to help you, then you gotta put up with all the side effects that the medicine has, and it's, it's so funny, you know, look out for this, look out for that, you know, so, you know what I'm talking about, but anyhow, so here's, here's all the, isn't it pretty already, the colors and all? Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and throw in a couple of ribbons and just let you see. Um, okay, so let me see here. Alrighty. So I'm going to use these two on the outside area all the way around. So you're going to have a total of 12 of them, 12 pair of the ribbons you choose around. Okay, I'm putting them on the, let's see. So see, too, I've been doing this a little bit more, and I, I might start doing it more in my videos because I have found that, actually, I like, um, seems like it gets a little faster done to me doing a section at a time, getting all the pieces finished like we're doing right now, or you can just do it all the way around as usual, but I'm trying to do mine more now like this when I make a wreath. I meant to show y'all, too, um, a Christmas wreath. I, well, I store some of mine. I, I have to we have a little small building out back, but, and I've got them pretty good in, in bags with the, put the little things that, so they won't get mail due and all. Or, so I've got about 12 up there. I did last year for Christmas. It's going to be a big help to me when I start listing them on my store. And I'm kind of go ahead and put the same two kind on the outside two rings here. But I meant to show you one. I wanted to hang on my board 
and to give you an idea of kind of what mine looks like. They are a little unique, mine are. I mean, <laughs> you just have to see what I'm talking about, okay? And I'll try to do that one day, but I'm honestly going to get on them soon. Now that I'm feeling better. I just got a few more here that I want to get out of the way for um, the fall. So see, I'm kind of done working on one section, and um, but you'll work the way you want to. So my other ribbon I chose for just the inside is this pretty pumpkin and all. Putting it together here, and it goes in on the inside here. So what I've done simply is make the first one of six sections on this wreath with the cruffle and the um, curl and the ribbon. Okay, it's still kind of okay. So here we go, you guys. I'm gonna tell you something right in a minute. I think you're a little crooked. I think I'm a little crooked. There we go. So she's already looking. I do like it. I really do like. So I tell you what, I'm fixing. I'm gonna take me just a little break. I'm gonna run and get me some ice water. And I do got to let my. I've even got to let my little hands out. And for all that you don't, most of you maybe know that's been with me. If you ever saw the video where I do have hands and my gals, I don't have a rooster. It'd be him or me. I'm scared of them. But my chickens, I love my girls. And I've got one out there named Queenie. She's almost seven years old and they run free. But honey, they got good eggs. But I do want to share something with you to, to show you that I'm I'm back. Me. The the original me and this is who I am. But I've got to go let them out of their coop right now. I just got off track this morning. But I want to share with you guys, if you don't mind, and if any of you have chickens, let me know. They're an awesome creature, and I know this is a wreath tutorial, but if I call you, your know, friends share things, and, and y'all shared stuff with me, and I want to give it back. So I just want to share with you today, this is Reba. Reba here, can you see Reba? Okay, let's see. Reba, this is the original picture that I took. Reba is one of my little, I think she's Rhode Island Red, or might be another kind, I I get a mixed up some, but she's a sweetheart. And if you look, guys, she's smiling. She's actually smiling. And she is. And, she's, and my husband said the other day, one of his friends told him, said, said, man, when I die, I'd like to come back. If we do come back, I'd like to come back as one of Teresa's pets because they got it made. <laughs> but this is Reba, guys, okay? Big smile on her face. Okay, I just wanted to share that, guys, okay? Well, I'm going to go let them out, give me some water, and we'll be back. And you know what? We'll be ready for the coffee cups. All right, everybody. Okay, so here she is. How y'all like the colors? I love the blue and, the, of course, the pumpkin there, the teal a little bit, and the aqua and the dark. It's turned out pretty good, and I don't know how, well... You know how I was doing the sections at a time, the six sections? That's how I finished this. And I think I actually got done a little faster I, doing the um, cruffles and then placing my curls and then the ribbons all at one little section. So you might want to try that sometimes. So I think I'm going to stick with that uh, when I do my cruffles. I love the cruffle method. It's just really neat. It's just So I'm going to go ahead and now get the little mugs on. And, okay. So here we go. I've got them all fixed up and just, like I said, the little pipe cleaner, pipe cleaner with the glue on the back. And, you know, you might need some, to work with some big ones. I usually use two to tie it together. I found a few extra long ones I had, 20 inch ones that a friend, Marie's buddy, Mama Buck, told me about. So I put them on the back here simply together, glue them on the backs of them. So I'm just going to kind of like work in, I've got three. And by the way, I meant to tell you, I actually picked up these little cups, little mugs, at Dollar General. That's another store I like. And, and guys, they were only a dollar a piece. A dollar a piece for something that cute. 
So, you know, I said, hey, that might really look good on a little wreath. So, maybe you can catch some at your Dollar General if you want to make something like this. But I just thought, wow, that's a good buy. That's cheaper than a Dollar Tree. <laughs> so let me try to get her on here. Give me a little, give me a problem now, little, little mug. Of course, I always have, like I've always said, it's hard for me to work on the table putting stuff in. I have to hunt, have it hung up some, but let's see. You can always go back and straighten them out, but that's all I've done. Just took her down into the, to where I want to put her, and I usually work around two rings. That's just me for, um, I just think it gives extra support instead of wrapping your pipe cleaner around one. Think so. Come on now. Okay. So there's one of her. And I'm going to go ahead, okay, because I'm going to have to throw my board, guys. I can't do like some of these pros on here work them on this table. Let me just get them on, but that's how you're going to do it, all right? And then we'll see the finished wreath, okay? And then we'll be done. I'm actually going to put a little simple bow on this one, I'm pretty sure. Okay, thank you guys for being with me today. So can everyone see her? I wish I had a nicer way to see. I've always said this, I'm sorry, I don't know. My room out here, well, it was my daughter's old bedroom before she moved out, and it was a garage actually before, so it was built into an extra room, which it does great, but I don't have really no, I need some style in the back, guys, so maybe one day I'll surprise you, but anyway, if you can see her, there she is, sweet fall, pumpkin spice, it's fall, y'all, and it's almost fall, y'all, <laughs> so there she is, and this simple little coffee mug fall and I added a few touches of the little piece with the leaves of pumpkins and berries so I am going to add a finishing little bow towards the two layer three layer bow um, I think we'll set it off really nice but there she is and um, oh, let's see I'm sorry excuse me um, Carol Carol I'm sorry honey Carol this was made because you requested it with a little coffee in it be neat if you find you like a big old coffee mug, something kind of lightweight, or that would work in the center there. Like that would be cool, I think. So I love the colors. I hope everybody else is liking them too. Okay, so if we can get start the little bow here, everybody like to spend time with me and watch the little bow we're gonna make. I would appreciate it. This is a simple one on my bow dabber here. Um. Okay, so just gonna take your bow dabber. I'm just going to go through it kind of fast, guys, because I do have a tutorial on this. Anybody new that hasn't seen me make this a simple layer bow? And usually I do two bows and may put a little on top. But this is all I'm going to do. Okay? And it's so good to be sharing it, this with y'all today. So, I already had my ribbon cut out, but I do my tails at 12 inches, most of my bows I do. And just gonna take her here, pinch it off, put her in. In this case, I already had mine duck tailed. Okay, I already had it duck tailed. Okay. Then I'm just gonna twist, and it's a habit now for me. You don't have to twist a solid ribbon on both sides. If your print's different, you do. But it's just a habit. And you know what, guys? I'm not gonna break it, because if I break it, I might mess it up. <laughs> so, so I'm just gonna come back here with it, make my loop. Now, I've been eyeballing mine. You can measure if you like. I'm just going to make a simple, this is about going to be about a three, four inch loop. Let's see right here. Take it back through on the other side. Same thing, twist it. Pull it back through. Okay. And now anybody new, you know, if you, the little stick comes in handy because this is how you measure your loops. Okay, if you can see right there, and I know this is a tad off some, so I'm going to pull it in. Okay, and see what we got there. So, that's a great way to measure. I just love it. You can see that kind of. Okay. So, there we go. Bring it down. And I'm going to be adding my other top one in. 
actually I'd had this little bow already done for something and I said well you know what I'm gonna add it onto this today so there again I'm just taking it and you don't really have to measure guys anybody if you want just you know you all most y'all know that just slide it in there and I usually measure by my my last ribbon <coughs> okay then it doesn't see for example the other sides now I got the print so you are going to have to twist it to make the pretty side come up. But I've always twisted, and like I say, I just can't get out of it. You know what I'm saying? There's just some old habits you just can't change, especially when they're an old dog. They're like me. <laughs> There's some things I just can't do, change. But All right. And twist it again to get the pretty side back up. Okay. Let's just see here. Just come down a little bit. Okay, bring it down. There we go. Okay, so I still ain't got to kind of. Okay, now I'm going to put the last little blue I had left from it on top of this. It's made to bring some blue out in it. So I'm going to make it even shorter. Got right in here. And I think I'm gonna have, I think I'm gonna have just enough, I think. Let's see. Y'all know my thinks, how they turn out sometimes. A little tape on this in here, but the, well, I duck tell it, I'll probably cut it off. I think I'm gonna have to slide it just a little bit more to get it all in there. So, same, same thing. Yeah, we're gonna have to make this a little baby bow, but that's okay. Bring out the blue and the wreath. That's okay. I don't think there's no rule where you have to have a big bow, little bow, or we're not what order and all. So you do your thing, girls. You do your thing, okay? Like I've always said, it is your wreath, and you you work it the way you want to, okay? So this is here. I'm not gonna twist. So I have enough. Okay, so it's barely gonna get me. It's all right. I'm happy with it. I think it'll do good stick on here. I just want a little more blue in the wreath. Okay. Let's see if there's tape on it. I guess on the row when it come off. And too, you know what I usually do, if you notice some of my bows when I make them, I always like to put like little things on top of them. I might even have another little pumpkin I can put on top of it. Some small. Okay. Don't tell it. Cut from the wired edge into the crease. Slanted. This one off to make it match. So everybody, I'm really glad that you joined me today. Okay, so we've got her done. We'll see the baby one, but that's okay. Alrighty. And then you just want to take it out, and I'll probably, like I say, find me a little something to go on there later. I have to see if we've got any little tiny pumpkins left. Pull up as you hold under your all your ribbon. Pull up, press down, put your pop lens to the back. A few twists. Okay, Let's see here down. How she look? I wear me a bow today. Hey, I can wear this for my birthday. I can wear this for my birthday, guys. I'll be a fucking birthday girl. I'm just picking around. Okay. So here she is. Okay. And we're just gonna see I usually cut my skins off a little bit. Okay, and just fluff her out like we do. And like I say, anybody new, I do have this tutorial for just a little this one actually made a six loop bow. Real simple on the bow dabbering. And you just want to fluff your tails under. Okay. And 
Now she's looking a lot better. I think it's to get her on the wreath now. That's the thing to get her on the wreath. <laughs> All right, so there she goes, everyone. Just my simple little layered bow. Sometimes I put on my wreath. So I'm gonna hook her up, girls. Okay. Be right back, or we're done. Okay. Well, I got her all finished, and I told you I'd find a little pumpkin. I told you guys. Y'all know me. I'm glad to know me. I'm very, very fortunate and lucky to have such wonderful people that found me on my channel. And, but there she is, y'all. I hope everyone likes her. I really do. The colors are gorgeous. And I wish I'd really had a big coffee center. That'd be awesome. So, Carol, honey, that's what you would really, if you want to make one, that'd be perfect to put in your center. But there you go. Okay? And I just want to say to everyone, you know, I'm going to get my microphone up here. <laughs> I just want to say to everyone, I really appreciate the prayers, guys. I know that y'all prayed for me some. I know. And I know I wasn't as sick or had surgery and all stuff, but... Well, as I get older, I can't fight stuff off, but but I miss doing this, and I just I appreciate all that prayed for me, because, you know, God does hear. He does hear, and I just want to thank you again today, and have a beautiful day, and hope you enjoyed this, and please, if you do, like and share it for me, and just keep coming back, because you'll miss it if you don't. You never know what you're going to get from me. All right, everyone. I love you guys, every one of you. Until next time, bye-bye.